What's up guys, Groovy Guitar Dude here with a beginner guitar tutorial for Ojitas Lindos by Bad Bunny and Bomba Stero. If this video helps you out, hit that like and subscribe button, and the guitar that we're jamming on today is called the Court Gold OC6. The first thing that you want to know to play Ojitos Lindos on guitar is that in order to keep the song as accurate and beginner friendly as possible, we're going to capo up to 4th fret. The next thing we would usually go over for a song is the structure, but for Ojitos Lindos, we're actually going to repeat the same chord progression through the entire song, so you don't need to worry about the structure for this one. And the last thing that you want to know before we dive into this song is the four chords that you need to play it. The first one is G, the next one is B minor 7, the next one is A, and the last one is E minor. And I'll have short chord tutorials for all of those linked in the pinned comment below for those of you who need them. And with all that in mind guys, let's dive into Ojitos Lindos. Guys, this is a beautiful new song from Bad Bunny's new album. I'm really digging this one. I think it sounds really cool and I thought it'd be really fun to adapt it over to guitar. So, like I said guys, this song is very beginner friendly. We just have one chord progression that repeats through the whole entire song. And I'm gonna give you two strum pattern options for this. Our chord progression that repeats through the whole song is just those four chords I just showed you in order. G, B minor seven, A, and E minor, repeated through the whole entire song, start to finish. Our first strum pattern option is just gonna be a single down strum for each chord. And that's gonna play at any of those kind of more mellow parts of the song, at the beginning of the song, you kind of hear where it's just, I think it may be keys, but it's just kind of this soft, pretty simple, kind of musical part in the background. All those kind of more mellow parts, we're just gonna fill in with a single down strum, kind of like this. Just about like that, nothing too crazy. For all the parts that are a little bit more up-tempo and bigger kind of sounding musically in the background behind the vocals, this is the strum pattern that I was using that I thought fit very well. These are G chords as an example here. For each chord we'll go down, down, up, up, down, up. But a little quicker, so more like down, down, up, up, down, up, and then switch, just about like that. So a little walkthrough with our chord progression with that strum pattern will kind of look like this. We'll go G chord to start us off, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. Just about like that. And that will really well match up with what's being played in those little bit more up tempo parts of this song. So, guys, nothing too crazy here. Like I said, one chord progression through the whole song, two strum pattern options depending on where you're at in the song. But a couple times through that chord progression with both of those strum pattern options will look about like this without me talking. And guys, that's everything that you need to know to play Ojitos Lindos on guitar. As always, if you have any questions, you can hit me up in the comments down below. I'm usually pretty quick getting back to those. And again, if this video helps you out, hit that subscribe button. I have about 900 other guitar and ukulele lessons on this channel, and I usually try to post at least three to five new lessons every single week. So if you're learning guitar or ukulele, there might be a perfect channel for you to check out. Hit up my Instagram, at the Groovy Guitar Dude, if you want to see other cool guitar-related content or just what I'm up to in between videos. Guys, Ojitos Lindos is a beautiful new song from Bad Bunny's new album. I'm really stoked to share this one with y'all just because I really like his new album. I actually don't speak a ton of Spanish. I do speak a little bit, but I'm not fluent. So I don't know what most of this song actually is saying, but I think it's a very beautiful song and I do love listening to songs in different languages. So if you have any suggestions for any Bad Bunny songs or any other songs in different languages, let me know in the comments down below because I actually really love learning that stuff and teaching it and just listening to it in general. So guys, I had a lot of fun learning this song. I hope you guys have a lot of fun learning as well and hope you have a wonderful day. I'll see y'all soon.